All right guys, so my snap maker came. I haven't been home when it got delivered, so I'm gonna check it out. So I'm just walking over to where it got delivered. Now, I know roughly what they sent me, but I really have no idea what I actually have here. So it'll be interesting to check it out. Oh, package number one. And package number three. All right, so here is the first and smallest of the packages. It is from Snapmaker. Yeah, let's check it out. All right, wow, oh my goodness. Let me just set this down. So, first off, we have Snapmaker PLA. We don't have just one though. We have three, four, five, six, seven, and 10, actually. That's a lot of PLA. Well, this is really handy, actually. Free PLA is awesome. What else do we have in here? It looks like we have the emergency stop button right here. Oh, these are for the rotary module, I believe. Basically what you turn on the rotary module. This appears to be the rotary module. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this cardboard. This is like a Apple packaging-esque. Look at that. This is incredibly heavy. This is the rotary module itself. Wow, and that is solid. More of those, which is great. And this bad boy goes here. All right, now let's move on to the second box. So it looks like we have a fan, uh, some kind of adapter, and then an actual hose. I didn't know it came with the hose. This is awesome. I keep thinking the box is empty, but there continues to be more stuff. Tools and accessories. Here are the structural components of the Snapmaker. And actually, if you look closely, you might not be able to see, but there are LED strips there. All right, time for the third and final box. Whew. So, starting off the linear modules, and there are, I believe, five of them. Yes, five. Another box of PLA, the power supply, touchscreen and controller, tools and accessories. Look at how big this box is. The tool heads, adapters and brackets, cables, and holy cow, the work platform. This thing is huge. Just when I thought it was the end, here's the base. This thing is enormous and very heavy. All right, so I wanna take a quick look at these linear modules. I can't believe this is aluminum, it feels like steel. You'll notice a ton of bolt holes everywhere on this thing. And you know we gotta check out the tool heads because these are the claim to fame for this machine. Here they are. Starting with the laser module, this one is relatively lightweight. There's some sort of, it almost looks like a screen on the top. It's got some plastic over it and the laser on the other end. Lots of cooling vents. And now the CNC module. This one is a little heavier and I can spin the collet right here. And finally, the new updated hot end for the 3D printer. And I'm just taking a look at this because I know they changed some of the internals around. There is a big gear in there that's gonna drive this. And then an idler, like you'll find on many printers. And as you can see, it is direct drive. Down here, it looks like there is quite a bit of cooling. I don't know if this is different from previous snap makers because I don't have one. I should also note, there is a big stepper motor in here. And to close the hot end, it looks like you just flip this little switch and then it closes right up. This is the Snapmaker A350T. So the newer version with higher pitch lead screws and silent stepper drivers as well as silenced fans and upgraded hot end for the 3D print module. Contrary to my beliefs, not all the linear modules are the same. The Z-axis linear modules are actually eight millimeters while the X and Y axis linear modules are 20 millimeters. I am super excited to get going, so let's jump into it.
All right, so as you can see, we are around the right side of the snap maker here, and I got it all plugged in. So I'm going to hit the power switch on the back and hope it works. And look at that, some nice ambient lights right here. And so far the fan is not too loud, nice and quiet. All right, so this thing is awesome. I'm so excited to try out all three of the tool heads. Unfortunately, I do not have time this week, which could not have come at a worse time. But I wanted to put this video up and just get the unboxing out of the way. Obviously, I still have the enclosure, the rotary module, the emergency stop button to attach. So I'm going to be making a video where I just put those together. That said, this build was very straightforward, especially for someone who's already familiar with 3D printers. It was super easy to do and really well put together. So nice job, Snapmaker. And I'd like to definitely thank Snapmaker, my mini factory, and Hemistorm for sending this over to me for free. Of course, I won a competition. It's a lot better than buying it. This would have cost a lot. So thank you so much to those people and groups. I will be making a video putting that other stuff together as well as a video in a week or so on my initial impressions of the machine, some of my first projects, and I will also be making future videos on some of the projects I make for the holidays, planning to make some cool wooden things for my family. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe and check that out when those come out. Anyways, I need to go to bed because I am very tired. I gotta wake up early tomorrow. So I will see you guys later.